Okay, I got my own oil can, but I uh, will go ahead and stress one more time. This one actually comes with an oil can that you can use. So as we open up the package, we clearly see here's our owner's manual, safety instructions. And it basically shows you everything's going together, how it works. Here's our pipe right here. We got our handle and extension. And then, of course, you got the socket type die that fits into the handle, which is right here. And then your threading. Let's go ahead and see what we got and go from there. Welcome to DIY Automotive School with my friend Pete and Minnie the Body Shop Girl. It's everything you need to know about cars and more. this pipe to the size that I need because this is the pipe that actually goes through the wall so I'm going to go ahead and stress very strongly that you have a vise to do this with now I have heard about these kits in the past and other people have said you would better have a good vise to use this thing so I'm hoping it's going to work now I do have my own uh, pipe cutter here so we're going to go ahead and cut this pipe down. Make sure that's where I want it. And we're doing all this manually. We don't have any machines. Everything we're doing is by hand because we don't want to spend a million dollars a day to rent a pipe cutter threader. Because I only think I have four pipes that I got to thread. Everything inside the shop is going to be reduced down to half inch. But I do have a half inch pipe. Yeah. I forgot about that. Because we got to. You bought two sizes. We, we got to plumb up the paint booth, too. Yeah. Remember? We got many of the body shop girl behind the camera today. We're trying to get this done. We got all our outside plumbing done for our house and our shop. And I am now trying to accomplish getting the airlines done. Once that's done, I think the plumbing is done. Uh, what I'm using for airline, if anybody wants to know, this is black pipe. I started out at inch and a quarter. I'm reducing it down to three quarter inch and half inch. And then we'll go from there. And no, uh, anybody that's asking, uh, no, black pipe will not rust out. Black pipe is used for... Um, Sprinkler used for spray overhead sprinkler systems and last forever so anybody that thinks that uh, I'm doing this wrong well let me tell you again you're wrong okay so come on over here let's put this thing together um, we're gonna go ahead and pass up the instructions but it is uh, very clear we got the important safety information it shows us how it all goes together, basically how it works. And then it breaks it down into how the pieces are literally put together and this, that, and the other. I don't even know if you can buy bits for these things. Who knows? So we're going to go ahead and this is a 3 8 We're going to get the half inch thread right here. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and put our uh, handle together. Let's see how this is going to work out. This will be our, I guess we'll just go right here. I don't think we're going to need a big one for half inch pipe. And I will say once again, if you look right here, look at this die. Look how big that thing is. That is a big, big thing. Okay, we're not going to uh, review that. My personal opinion on that, you'll probably use that one time. 
and it'll be a done deal. It's over. Yeah. All right. Inch and a half. Here's the inch and a quarter, which is what this pipe is right here. Of course, we used an electric machine. And I'll tell you something else. The electric machine had trouble. Remember that? Yes. We had uh, a lot of situations going on. So um, I'm going to stress again that we're using, uh, what we're using here is half inch pipe. I mean, three quarter inch and half inch. So I got the wrong pipe there. And I'm going to try to use it with just two extensions instead of three. We'll see what happens with that. So I'm going to put the half inch away because I'm, this is three quarter pipe. I'm getting ahead of the game here. So we're going to go ahead and use the three quarter inch threader and we're going to see what happens. To get the ball rolling, what we're going to do is we're going to put this on our ratchet just like this. If I can get it in here. I just had it. There we go. And then what we're going to do to start this, we're going to make sure that it's turning the right way. And it looks like that's the wrong way. So we are going to figure out, there we go. Okay, we're going to turn it around. Hang on. Okay, now it's going the right way. Um, the way that you use this, you put your pipe through this side here, and then it'll come out here. So we're going to go ahead and try to thread this and see what happens. I can feel it biting. It feels like it's threading. There it goes. Okay, before we go any further, we want to uh, lube it up. Get a little lube on that. Always have something on your floor to do this. Once you get it started, it should be an easy situation. Um, I can feel the pressure of the pipe wanting to take over. And when you're using this, I'm going to strongly suggest that you get this shit out of the way, for one. I'm going to strongly suggest that you go slow with it. You don't force it. If you want your bits to last a long time, it's better to go slow. You can see, as we're doing it, it's threading it. So we're going to get approximately... Look at that. Look at this. Okay, hold on now. Okay, there we go. Put a little more oil on here. So what we're going to do is we're going to flip this button right here. We're going to loosen that up. We're going to turn it around. And then what that's going to do, it's going to bring it back. And I'm just going to go a couple turns back just to clean it out. And you can see the threads dropping right here. All right. Once I clean that out, I'm going to turn it around. And look right here on your handle. There's an arrow that tells you which way to go. So we're going forward now. And to reverse it, you pull it up and you turn it to go backwards. So now we're going to go ahead and do this again. Now it's going on very easily. Okay, now we're going to start some new threads. Because we're going to have to go to where this is flush, see? And you can kind of see it. Manny brings the camera over here. Can you see it coming out? Okay, so. Okay. So we want to make sure we got enough ample threads. And um, see what I'm doing here? I got my face right in the way of this thing. Always keep your face away from it. Okay, our machine's full of threads, so if many can get a good angle on that, we're gonna put it on reverse right here. And then watch what happens when I turn it the other way, and you'll see the threads falling out. Well, I tell you, uh Looks like uh, it's been an easy do. Yeah, it just takes but, time. But what's the quality? Okay, here we go. Like? Let's, let's, well, that's what we're going to look at once we get this threaded. And then, of course, the time that it's taken. It's pretty quick. We've got a couple more threads. Okay, we're almost there. All right, you can see that. 
we're flush, so that's telling us that it's threaded. So we'll go ahead and loosen this up. You can see the thread's dropping. You need to use oil with this. I don't care what kind you got. Now watch what's going to happen here. And then let's check it out and see what we got. Okay. Is that the best threads in the world? Hey, that looks really nice. No, but that's a pipe thread. Um, look right here. There's Manny. just some dirt, I think. No, the thread isn't. I noticed that uh, by using this, if you look right here, get a close up where my finger is, you can see by jamming those uh, pieces of metal in there, it kind of ruined the thread on that. See that? So we're about the same thickness if you look at this one. And then come over here and look at this one. See how nice this is? Factory. Yeah. And then look at this one here. You can see it does have a little mess there's a gouge there. right here. And what that's from is when you're using that machine and you're not backing it off. When it gets real hard, you got to click it, back it off, let all the threads drop out, and then do it again. Getting too much material, too much excess material that you cut off, Pretty jammed much. up in there is what the problem is. Now, the good thing about pipe threads is pipe threads are designed, they start out little and then go bigger. Do you see what I'm saying? So the, the threads the, don't have to be the, perfect. The fin is narrow at the top and gets wider. No, it's wider down here and thinner down here. Oh. So I, the I tighter you put it on there, no, it's thin down here. If you look at it, you can see it's kind of at a V like this. Oh. Okay. I see. That's how I pipe see. threads are made. And the reason they make them like that and this cutter literally cuts it. If you look inside there, you can see the cutter, how it's angled. Uh -huh. See how it's angled? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay. And the reason they do that is because the tighter you put this on here, the more grip it's going to get, and it's going to create its own thread. So we're really not looking for a perfect thread. What we are looking for, though, is something like that right there. And you can see how it's getting harder to put on. And that reason is, is because the threads are flared. They start like this, and they end up like that. And then another thing about pipe, uh, putting pipe together, it's basically like, kind of like brake lines on your car. When you tighten it up, you don't want to bring it back and loosen it. Because the tighter you get it, it's sealing itself. So when you bring it, let's say that we need it to be right here instead, but we over tighten it and then you bring it over here, it's going to have a chance of leaking somewhere. So always be careful and take your time on putting that pipe together. So, what's my opinion on the Harbor Freight? Let me get that out. The central machinery, um, 3 8 to 2 inch, 10 piece ratcheting pipe threader set. I'm going to give you my honest opinion, and I'm going to show you right now. This is my opinion. If you're doing anything from 3 8 see how little that is, to 1 inch, I believe that this machine will be awesome for you to use. If you're going anywhere from inch and a quarter, look what I got here. Do you see what we got here? Do you see that? If you got anything like this, I'm saying this machine's probably a piece of shit. Um, there is no way in the world, okay? I mean, you probably get a good thread out of that probably one time, but after that, I mean, you better have a hell of a big vice to try to ratchet that with this. This is Pete, my friend Pete, your friend Pete, telling you and showing you that Harbor Freight tools are good for a little bit of a time and a little bit of a section, but they're not the best tools in the world. If you're doing a job like I'm doing, it's great. It's cheap, it's inexpensive. Um, I believe this thing was $70. It saved me a lot of money from renting. Will I ever use it again? I seriously doubt it. But it saved me money and I did it myself. Because if you don't do it right, if you're not doing it, you're not doing it. Because if you don't do it, you're not doing it right. Is that how I say it? No, that's not. Okay, take two. <laughs> do it right, do it right, do it right. Because if you're not doing it right, you definitely aren't doing it at all. Hold on. Like that. watching DIY.
Automotive School. Classes don't stop till you know everything. <laughs>